Hey, what's up? Chin here from Code and Quick Tips. Today with a new video about how to save and string into a text file. To do this, we will need an object from the type buffered writer. So just write buffered writer, send the name of your writer, for example, for example writer, equals new buffered writer. The writer will take and file writer as an argument. So we can just paste in a new file writer. The file writer will take uh, the string to the, um, to the file that we want to save as an argument. So in my case, because I'm on a Windows machine, I will type double backslash test.txt. So it will show up some errors because um, we have actually not implemented or not imported the buffered writer. So hover over and click import buffered writer and hover over here and click import file writer. It will still show an error because the uh, creation of the file writer can fail sometimes. For example, if we have no writing rights to that, um, yeah, to that disk, for example, if we have no writing rights there, we can't create a new test.txt file. Therefore, we must surround with try and catch, because then we can catch up the error. As next step, we will actually save the string into the file. Therefore, we can use our writer object and call the write method. Here, we can just paste in a string like our string. Okay, there we go. If we have finished the actually saving process, we will need to close the writer again. Therefore, we can just type writer dot close. And that's it. That's the whole process of saving a file. If we now run our program, we should save a new text file into our dictionary. And here we go. We have just saved our text. Uh, that's it. The whole code will be in the description, so you won't need to retype everything. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.